Fox 5 has returned to Maui to follow up on the people impacted by the deadly fire in Lahaina. Governor Josh Green has extended his emergency proclamation on wildfires to continue state support for Maui's recovery efforts through the beginning of next year. The proclamation is now in effect until January 5th. The proclamation provides exemptions for hotels and condos to free up units for fire survivors, allowing them to house displaced residents for longer than um, allowed in the government documents. It will also waive fees for fire evacuees trying to obtain state documents and also allows businesses with liquor licenses that burned in the fire to transfer those licenses to new locations. The proclamation also bars price increases on essential commodities like milk, ice, and rental cars. Fox 5's Joe Vigil joins us now live from Maui. And Joe, the physical recovery in Maui is slow right now, but mental recovery may be even slower for many. Yeah, exactly. So many people, of course, here in Lahaina dealing with uh, several recovery issues. They're dealing with rebuilding and then, of course, they have to find housing. And then on top of that, they have to struggle with all the awful things that happen. So we want to go over here and this is Lahaina right behind us. So TJ Akima, his wife and son, ended up trapped in Lahaina when the fire broke out. This is a look at the burn zone below us. So he is born and raised here and he couldn't even find a way out with all the traffic, all the panic. Akima says there were flames on both sides of the car and wind was pushing flames over the road. That's when he told his son not to touch the car windows and he went right through the flames. He got out. Now he told me his boy, who we call Sun Sun, has taught him not to take life for granted and be happy, which he says his son is, even after their apartment was destroyed, along with everything in it. For him, he'd be like, he's okay. I'll be okay as long as, all he wanted was a certain toy. We bought him a certain toy and he was happy. Every little thing makes him happy now. What was the toy? It's, um, he's into Transformers. Oh, okay. So we bought him his little Transformers. We just bought it for him and it burnt in a fire and then we went to Target, got him another one and that's all he wanted. So we're blessed to have him in our lives. I mean, we have two girls too, that um, they were with my parents at the time. Oh, okay. And they were safe, they, were, they got out. Yeah, which is great to hear. So Akeem also told me because power and cell phone service were out, he did not hear from his daughters for about five hours. God, that would be tough, uh, you know, waiting all that time just to hear that they were okay. But again, they are okay, guys. And Joe, where's the family staying now? Yeah, they're uh, staying with one of his friends. Um, that's kind of a temporary situation right now. Uh, the friend's mom and dad live there as well. But you know what? Uh, the family said, hey, uh, we know this has been a horrible situation. We want you to come and live with us. Uh, stay here pretty much as long as it takes uh, and then deal with this. Um, and that's guys what he's doing right now and, and I looked at him and I said you know you probably would do the same thing would you he says of course I would do the same thing you know just a again another aloha spirit moment here in Lahaina and we're keeping track of it all for you reporting live in Lahaina tonight Jovi Hill Fox 5 News local Las Vegas